Really quick before this video starts, if you're looking for some Elden Ring runes or some kind of items from the game or whatever that you don't want to obtain yourself, these guys here will obtain them for you. Shout out to AOEAH.com. Their link will be in the description and use code TBE for 3% off at your checkout. Hey guys, this is the Better Editor. I'm coming at you guys with an Elden Ring glitch uh, for some runes here. Uh, this is after patch and everything like that. If you guys didn't know, a patch came out about a day or so ago, maybe two days ago at this point. They patched some of the jumps and stuff like that. Uh, this one right here, though, does still work. I made a video on this probably about a week ago at this point, and I figured this one would have got patched. But no, this one's probably, like, if you're going to do one of these spots where you jump off the map to get runes, this is probably the best one to do. Uh, the one I posted previously definitely is not the best one to do because you barely get anything for it. You can get that free bird kill, but to be honest, I don't even know if that one still works or not. I believe it does. This one works after patch 1.04.1, the little hotfix they put out. Uh, it's kind of tricky to do, but if you're on regular new game, you'll probably get around 110 to 120,000. Uh, maybe a little less than that. Depends on if you have the gold scarab or have eaten a pickled fowl foot or not. Then if you have both of those things, you'll probably get almost 150k, I believe, if you're on regular new game. For me, I'm going to be getting like 320k just about, and that is on new game plus with a gold scarab. No pickled foul foot, just gold scarab. And all you need for this is to make your way to Mogwan Palace. If you can't or you don't know where this location is, there'll be two videos linked down below. Uh, one will be showing you an NPC quest that you can do to get down here. Another one will show you without the NPC quest on how to get down here. Uh, the video without the NPC quest is a little bit longer, but if you already have the secret part of the snow area unlocked, then just basically fast forward to the end of that video because it's like 20 minutes long or something. But all you need to do is spawn at this grace right here. This is where the bird farm is. If you uh, know what that is, you'll spawn at the exact same grace as the bird farm. And once you do spawn at the bird farm grace, then all you need to do is make your way to this wall right here that's very close to it. And you're going to kind of make your way up this wall, like kind of Skyrim jump up this wall until you can get to the top of it and jump off the map. And how you're going to do that is kind of do what I do in this footage. Jump on the bottom rock with all the blood on it and then jump on another rock that's like slightly a different color. And jump up on another rock. The fourth jump, you got to kind of jump over to the left and up. That one's pretty tricky. That's the hardest part. If you can get that part, then you're pretty much done. Uh, that part you might mess up a whole lot on. I haven't done this in quite a while, so it was really difficult for me. I fell off of this thing like maybe five or six times or so before I got it. But once you do finally get it, then you might be glitched into a rock right here and then like looking through the rock. Don't worry. Just kind of jump out to the right and then jump back into the left. And then you'll be able to be on top of where you need to be. And then just follow where I go and kind of go south. And then whenever you do get to this point, just jump off of the map and then press your attack button, your RB or your R1. Just keep pressing that. Uh, you don't have to spam it or anything, but just like press it every, I don't know, I would say half second to second. And that'll be enough because uh, if you just sat there and, you know, tap, 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 that would, you know, be very, very annoying. But you just have to press it every once in a while to make sure you're in, in the animation constantly and you won't die. That's the only reason why you need to do this because if you weren't hitting your attack button, you would just straight up die from the fall. But if you hit your attack button, you won't die. After a while or so, I'm guessing what happens here is the floor of this place loses collision. Therefore, all the enemies fall through the map, and then you get stuff. Now, you might unlock some stuff if this is your first time doing it, but if you've done this multiple times, you won't unlock anything. You'll just get your runes. It does take a while. You'll probably fall for like 45, 50 seconds or so, and then it'll finally pop up at the t uh, bottom right of your screen. It might say you only got a couple thousand or so, but in reality, you'll be getting way more than that when they actually show up at the bottom right. And once they do show up at the bottom right, then just press your map button and fast travel back to that grace and rinse and repeat. Now, if you're scared of dying and losing all your stuff before you do it again, then spend all the runes and then go and do it again. For me, that's really not an option because it costs me like 350,000 runes to level up just one time. I am like level 211 or 210 or so, so I guess that makes sense. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys did like this video, then drop it a like. If you dislike this video, then drop it a dislike. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and hit the sub button. You will see more. Other than all that stuff, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. LBB. -bye.